Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Kenya. Huh? Ah. I didn't think I could ever experience anything like this. The yeah. people, the weather, the food, mm. just the vibe, the energy, <laughs> the layout of the city, mm. the technology, mm -hmm. the this, the that, the restaurants, <laughs> the clubs, the bars, the hotels, mm -hmm. like the Airbnbs, like everything <laughs> is just like, and shit works here. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like to say, I, I like to call Kenya Africa light. Okay. For wow. <laughs> expats, mm, yeah. meaning the things that you like in the states or mm, Europe, yeah, you can find here. Yeah. To another amazing video. So today with me, I'm bringing you another exciting, inspiring story from one of the man who lived in the U.S. and currently is living in Kenya, and he calls it home. So we are yet to find out why does he uh, call it home and why did he decide to relocate to Kenya? So uh, allow me to introduce him to you and let him introduce himself to you guys. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. reaching out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, my name is Troy White. Um, I've been living in Kenya now for 10 years. Oh, wow, that's so yeah, good. Yeah, originally from um, the great city of Philadelphia. Mm. Um, but I moved here from New York, from Harlem. Okay. Uh, and have just been enjoying this beautiful weather, mm. uh, beautiful people, yeah. uh, great opportunities, mm. great quality of life, mm. uh, the food. Yeah. Uh, just less stress. Mm. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful to live in this yeah. great country. Yeah. Uh, indeed, I can really tell. You know, from your out appearance, mm -hmm. you know, the way how you speak, it really tells that you enjoy in Kenya. Ah. <laughs> I would give it. I'm really hard on giving grades because I also coach basketball and I've coached sports, so yeah. it's hard for me to give good grades on things. Mm -hmm. Or, or perfect grades on yeah. so I wouldn't give Kenya a hundred mm -hmm. but I would give it a 98.5 okay yeah so why Kenya in particular because we have different African countries there's Uganda Hold on, can Kenya. I say something <laughs> I want to clear that up because <laughs> Kenyans are really sharp on, on the net and I don't want anybody to be like well why 98.5 <laughs> and not a hundred I'll get slayed <laughs> Just understand, <laughs> there's no place in the world I've mm -hmm. been to. I've lived in London, mm -hmm. I've lived around the States, okay. I've traveled the world. Mm -hmm. There's no place I would give mm -hmm. over maybe a 87. Okay. So uh, Kenya gets a 98.5. .5. So oh. understand that. <laughs> Kenya, you're very lucky. Yeah. So why did you decide to relocate to uh, Kenya? Because you know in America there are a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. We see in photos and videos like it's a great country and everyone wants like to visit America. So, but why you in particular you decided to relocate to Kenya? Well, it actually wasn't me, all of me. Okay. It was my ex-wife's job opportunity okay. that brought us here. Okay. Um, and we're both very open-minded. Mm. We both love to travel. We okay. have two unbelievable kids wow. um, that are very open-minded also. Mm. So we were like, yo, it was her job opportunity. And mm. I was like, yo, it would be dope for our kids to be okay. able to grow up in Harlem in New York. Okay and then also go to school in Kenya. Like, mm. how cool is that? Yeah, yeah. We had never, neither one of us had ever even been on the continent. Okay. So we didn't have any friends, no family, mm. knew nothing about Kenya. Okay. Um, but we were both like, why not? <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Yeah. And because uh, I do marketing and I had my own marketing company oh, wow. in the States, I was mm. like, hey, babe, we can go to Alaska. I don't mm. care. Okay. I'll be able to <laughs> make things happen. Yeah. So we were both very open, mm. came here for four years mm. uh, as a family, and it was beautiful. Okay. I just, I fell in love with the country. Nice. So, you know, um, a lot of media out there always portrays Africa, like there's a lot of things. Africa is not safe. Africa is not beautiful. There are no good houses in Africa. So for you, before you came to Africa, Weren't you like scared because you've seen a lot of media so things? I um, <laughs> I was blessed to 
attend the greatest university in the world. Okay. Not the world, but the galaxy, okay. the universe. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Howard University. Mm. And it's an all black university. Yeah. Uh, so when I went to school, mm. you know, our professors taught us how great this continent is. Yeah. And kind of rewired all of our brains yeah. from the general media that tells you that, mm. ah, Africa. They're not advanced, and <laughs> it's all nothing but war and famine and babies with flies on their lips, and that's it. Okay. You know that's because that's all you really see. Yeah. You know through the media. Yes. And that's all you really read mm. outside of Africa. Yes. Um, but I was taught that mm. you know we're the original people, and we invented math and science, mm. and yeah. you know while the people were, I won't say what I was about to say. Um, but you know we're the kings and queens and originators of everything yeah and this is the most beautiful continent in the world yes and it's the cradle of humanity yes. uh and power and influence and yes. without this continent nothing works mm -hmm. in europe nothing yeah. works in the states yeah. without this continent and i knew that yeah so it was i wasn't afraid mm -hmm. in any kind of way shape or form mm -hmm. um the funny thing is, is that because of my personality, I could, you could take me to a barn with okay. like chickens and cows in the barn yeah. and I could have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not one of those kind of people that's like, yeah. yeah. So I was, I was going to be really happy with a C plus experience. Okay. That's and that's nice. what I readied my mind for. Like C plus, maybe B minus if we lucky, yeah. but I'll be happy <laughs> with a C plus. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, and it turned out to be an A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So what most do you enjoy in after that time being that you've been here in Kenya? I know you have um, done a lot of things. You have gone to different places. What most do you enjoy about Kenya? <laughs> what most? Mm. As really well, actually, it does have something to do mm. with the country, but mm. just being human. Okay. Um, you know, living in the states. I lived in London, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a black man. Okay, yeah. Um, I go into a restaurant or a store mm -hmm. or get stopped by the cops in any of those places, I'm a black man. Okay. It's a lot of weight. Yeah. And when you grow up in a country like here or any place on this continent mm -hmm. where you're just human, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a beautiful feeling. And I've never felt, only time I ever felt that way was when I went to Howard University. Okay. You know, where I just felt like a regular person, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, um, and here just waking up every morning, mm -hmm. just feeling human yeah, <laughs> and not having to carry that weight of being yeah. black mm -hmm. in America or yeah. black in not Europe. Like um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. Uh, so, so I like that the most. Yeah. So uh, to people who are watching out there, maybe they are black Americans and others who would love to relocate to Kenya, what is your say about Kenya? Because you are one of the people who have uh, relocated here. Mm -hmm. Would you advise someone to relocate to Kenya? Oh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. But what I like to say is, mm -hmm. to me, like I've been to 10 other African countries, okay. um, Kenya by far to me, okay. for me and my personality, okay and my lifestyle, mm -hmm. and what I like and love. Mm -hmm. um, Kenya to me, by far is the best place. Okay. Um, but I, I like to say, like countries are almost like schools or colleges or mm -hmm. even nightclubs mm -hmm. yeah. in regards to certain places are made for certain people. You know, there are certain nightclubs that I might like that you might not like. Yeah, exactly. And I might think it's the dopest spot, mm -hmm. music, the people, and you're like, eh. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there yeah. might be clubs that you like to go to mm -hmm. that I'm like, eh, no, not my kind of club I want to go to. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, and I feel the way, same way about places to live. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's going to love Kenya. But okay. what I will say about Kenya, yeah. over the past 10 years, mm -hmm. I've influenced or invited at least 350 people okay. from the states mm -hmm. and from Europe, oh, wow. Africans of the diaspora. Yeah. Not one time mm -hmm. 
as anyone said to me at the end of their trip. Mm. Ah, Troy, it was nice. It was, it was cool. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Every last one of them was like, oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Kenya. I, I didn't think I could ever experience anything like this. The yeah. people, the weather, the food, mm. just the vibe, the energy, <laughs> the layout of the city. Mm. The technology, mm -hmm. the this, the that, the restaurants, <laughs> the clubs, the bars, the hotels, mm -hmm. like the Airbnbs, like everything <laughs> is just like, and shit works here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. I like to say, I, I like to call Kenya Africa light okay. for wow. <laughs> expats. Mm -hmm. yeah. Meaning <clears throat> the things that you like in the States or mm -hmm. Europe, yeah. you can find here. Yeah, it's true. And things work here and it's safe. Like I feel, I grew up in the hood. I lived in the hood in Harlem. Mm -hmm. I feel safer here than I do when I go back home, which is crazy. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's, it's, to me, this is the best place in the world. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy, you know, I'm happy always to see when people um, speak good things about Africa. I feel so, like, touched, like, yeah, we have some people out there who love Africa, and they have seen the beauty of Africa. Yeah, that is really nice. So Nothing I really miss. Mm -hmm. Um... There's a, sorry about that. Yeah, okay. There's nothing I really miss other than mm. my family, okay. my friends, mm. getting a good cheesesteak or hoagie in Philly, okay. um, going back to my university, mm. which I used to do all the time, okay. and walking the streets in Harlem, which I love. Okay. That's the only thing I miss in the States. Ah! <laughs> and watching my Philadelphia Eagles play football. <laughs> I miss that immensely. Okay. But if I don't have that, mm -hmm. family, friends, football, Howard University, Harlem, mm -hmm. I would never go back to the States. Wow. I wouldn't, because I don't miss anything else. Did you hear that? Other night? than that. There's no reason. <laughs> There's so many places that I wouldn't go to Europe. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go to Asia. Okay. I wouldn't go anywhere. There's enough on this continent mm -hmm. to experience everything you need. Okay. There's enough in this country, dag on it, without even going outside of Kenya okay. to experience everything you need. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so I go back to the states often because I have two kids and I have family and mm. um, a lot of ties and blessed to have a lot of friends mm. um, that I love. Uh, I'll be going back in two weeks for um, Howard University's homecoming. Okay. Um, I have a huge party, of which are the woman who's running for president Kamala Harris. Oh, Kamala Harris. Yes, yeah. she's a Howard University grad also. Oh, and we were wow. at Howard University at the same time. <laughs> so you're blessed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we're you having have a, We're having a big party uh Friday and Saturday night for homecoming. So oh, I have to go back for that. Okay. But other than that, mm. no reason to go back to the nah. States. Nah. <laughs> I like to break it up. Like I do a um uh, an annual trip and just started last year, okay. last April, okay. where I bring a bunch of African Americans here, wow. um, and what we do for ten days. Mm -hmm. So what we do first is a couple days here in the in the city, mm -hmm. just so that they can get acclimated because of the time difference. Okay. If you're coming from the states in the East Coast, okay. it's a seven to eight hour, depending upon. So if you need uh, hosting, um, organizing your trip, so maybe you can give them your social media platform yes. so that they can reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm an IG person. Okay. Strictly. Yeah. So it's Troy T R O Y okay. underscore yeah. Groovy G R O O V Y mm -hmm. underscore White. Okay. So Troy underscore groovy underscore white. Okay.